Mercy back here again with another video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma. Yes, sir. Yes, viewers. Yes, subscribers. Mercy back here again with another video. Now, I think this comment is stretching it at beyond. Man, I think this comment is going too far. I think this comment is just is 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 a is a shot into the dark. Okay, it might hit. Might it might not. It might hit. It might hit. But it's still a shot into the dark. Okay. Now, one of my um followers, and I said always, as I said always, whenever you have a new um video suggestion for me, just send it to me on Twitter, and then I might it might come up. I might do it. I might not do it. It depends on how I'm feeling in the day. Now, if you didn't know already, I'm telling you now. Captain Conan are planning uh to release a new mixtape. Hopefully within this month, but I don't think coming out soon. We've seen in the Snapchats of them recording it. We've even had some sneak previews of songs that's gonna be on their um, mixtape. You know, coming up soon. I don't know what it's called. I don't know when it's coming out. I don't know who's gonna be featuring on it, fe featuring on it. But definitely, something is coming out. Okay. And uh, this one of my subscribers said, "Hey, Marche, hey, Marche, do you think that one of the tracks?" That is gonna be released on Krypton Conan's mixtape. Do you think one of the tracks or one of the lyrics or one of the words or one of the words in the lyrics will be aimed at Chip? That is a stretch. I thought I said I said that himself I said, yo, that is kind of a big stretch, okay? But is because if you didn't know already, they had a little kerfuffle or scuffle or squabble on um on, on Twitter, but that was quickly squashed over I think a two hour or four hour conversation on the phone. I don't know how you how you could talk for that long. But apparently I had a two hour, three hour conversation on the phone Talking about literally their differences About probably about the thing of Youngin as well Saying that yo, you shouldn't have uh, attacked him You shouldn't have lyrically warned him You should have just called him on the phone And I had a big conversation about it But there was still some beef in it, okay And in the song Dunya That which was in the movie Brotherhood Which is an alright movie, okay It was in Brotherhood, okay That song Dunya, okay um, Crept made some little links Like, although it wasn't massive Like, Chipmunk, we're talking to you there were little links with it, okay? The link, number one, the first link was um, when he said um, how rappers are always mouthy on Twitter, okay? And I think the mouthiest rapper or artist or grime artist in London, okay, is Chip. And this is not, cause not, this is not a, um, being written, but the one of the mouthiest people on Twitter when it comes to voicing your opinions is Chip, okay? And another, and another one of his lines, Crips lines, okay? He was talking about how you should run to Toronto, okay? And at that time that that song was released, or around that time that song was released, Chip was in Toronto. I don't think it was, it was a holiday, but Chip was in Toronto, okay? So those two big links made me feel like, yo, what's going on, you know what I mean? And now they have a mixtape, we literally have, like, I don't know how many songs they'll have, about 7 to 10, or even, if not more. And you know what? To sell that, I don't know if they're going to sell their mixtape, because some mixtapes are free, some mixtape you have to you have to pay for it, okay? But to really sell their mixtape, if they... If they send shots at a thing, it will obviously sell the mix up a lot more. If they're gonna sell it for money, I don't know. I mean, everyone wants money nowadays, so obviously they're about to sell it for money, okay? But if they if they do ape anything at chip, that's gonna to be honest, that's gonna give them more money, okay? They give the phone chip, say, yeah, hey, yo, chip, I'm gonna beef you, I'm gonna I'm throw through this out your way. I also make more money. If you wanna reply, you make more money too. Guess what? We make money together. You know what I mean? So it, the, yes, that comment's a stretch. It's a stretch, but. It's possible. He's, he's. I think he's referred to him once. Why can't he do it again? You know, uh, even though in, in the other songs after Dunya, he didn't refer to Chip at all. But it's a stretch. What do you, I, me personally, I think it's a stretch. What do you not feel? Do you, do you think it's possible? Do you think it's a stretch as well? Or do you think that's a stupid, a dumb idea? Or do you think that there's no way? Or do you think that yo, there could possibly possibly be a chance? You know, as a way to sell your mixtape. Look, beef, commotion, adversity. Commotion at times, uh, another word for commotion, always causes things to sell more. It's, it's, it's as easy as that. Whenever beef or commotion, anything is surrounded on a, rele a, a release, okay, more people want to buy it. Not to be rude to um, um, the Fast and Furious series, not to be rude to um, um, Paul Walker, rest in peace, okay. But the Fast and Furious 7, okay, the last movie, sold more than all the other ones. Why? Because there was a death, there was a commotion surrounded up around it. Paul Walker died, therefore, Fast and Furious 7 did way better than all the, all the previous six Fast, Fast and Furiouses. And it probably do better than the, eight, what, than the eighth one that's coming out next year. So it's kind of mad, but that's how, that's how the world works, okay. When there's when it's commotion surrounded around something, then more people want to see it and more, and more money will be made on the sides of the producers, you know what I mean? But I think it's a stretch personally. What do you think? Let's back here again with, with another video. Peace, love, and uh, yeah.